What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. We're gonna take an entire chicken. We're gonna hit him with a jerk marinade, and we're gonna pop it into the oven. We're gonna get tasty. We're gonna get beautiful looking chicken, and we're gonna get something that's quick and easy to put together. If you saw that video I did a few years ago, where I did that, that sort of hack or the student version of jerk chicken in the oven, today we elevate him the game. We're doing an entire bird. Stay tuned, you're gonna love this one, man. I'm not real proud of it, you know, because it's so simple, and you're gonna make Great jerk chicken in the oven. I guarantee you that. Yes. And like that video I shared with you guys five, six, seven years ago or something, that student or that quick jerk chicken in the oven. It's the same sort of principle we want to do here today. We want to make sure it's easy. So this is why we are using a bottle straight out of the grocery store jerk marinade. CaribbeanPod.com got a marinade. If you want to do it yourself, you can certainly do that. But the whole idea here is something quick, something tasty, and something that looks good as well too. So we're covering the tasty, we're covering the look, and we're covering the ease of making this. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. So I've got two and a half tablespoons of that jerk marinade. It is spicy. This one I like, it is spicy. I've got here some honey. We've got to sort of balance the flavors. So we've got honey, notice how simple it is, stuff you probably already have or very easy to access. We're going to hit that, we're going to thin it down with a little bit of olive oil, so about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. Give that a good mix and I want the juice of a lemon. Now the seeds and everything, that's fine. You can remove the seeds if you wanted to. But this is going on the outside, on the inside of the chicken. It's not really going to, you're not going to eat that seeds out of the pits. But if you wanted to take it out, by all means, you can take those out. The whole idea is something quick if you're a student. Maybe you're working all week and you want something nice on a Wednesday. It's just going to, yo, it's just all kind of nice. Listen here. As a matter of fact, let's take out those seeds here. Just to make things. A couple more seeds in there and that is it that is the sort of marinade or the dressing for it the honey is going to balance off the heat and we've got all that old spice and all kind of niceness there from that jerk marinade straight out of a store as i said shove this to the side for a second clean up here a little bit put that down here remember i said my oven is preheating to 425 degrees i've got a nice big roasting skillet here and I like something with low size not too high now if you wanted to tent it you can certainly do that but I want to develop color and that color with caramelization and the sugars in there that's going to bring all kind of niceness so I'm not tenting this now you're thinking jerk what can we sort of complement or highlight the flavors with I've got here some sliced ginger and my, tur my, my turkey my chicken yo Speaking about turkey, Thanksgiving is coming up, Christmas is coming up. If you want to rock this chicken in the oven, it's a roasted chicken in the oven for people who don't like turkey. But I've got the legs tied and I'm going to go in with some slices of ginger in there. And a good jerk marinade will already have ginger. So we try to complement it or highlight those flavors. We've got some scallion and again, a key ingredient in a good jerk marinade. And all we're trying to do is perfume the bird from the inside. So the marinade will work on the outside. This stuff got some fresh thyme. It's been really mild lately in Ontario, so I'm still getting thyme out of my garden. And finally, I've got a couple bay leaves. The bay leaf will mimic the allspice that's in, or the pimento berries that's in the jerk marinade. So that's just going to complement everything. Now all we want to do is make sure that's nice inside there. The wing, all you're going to do is tuck it below, tuck it below, boom, and that is all dressed up there. And speaking about dressed up, now is where you're going to go crazy with that improvised jerk marinade that we have. And we're just going to pour that all over, all between the legs and everything. If you want to go inside the cavity, by all means, do so. Now if you wanted to line your your roasting pan here with some foil you can certainly do that and 
cleanup will be a lot easier later on. I'm gonna flip the bird or flip the bird. Here I go again with that. I'm gonna flip the bird and I'm gonna go on the underside as well. No need to marinate this overnight or anything. It's gonna center it a bit more on there. We want something quick, we want something with that island vibe, that whole jerk flavor in there. So we're doing this really quick. And as soon as my oven comes up to temperature, I don't know if you guys heard that there, this is going to go into the oven uncovered on the middle rack, 425 degrees. If is that simple. <laughs> Sup soldiers, listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me email address down here i mean trying to tell people the email address them butts will take me address and do all kind of thing with it and tag me on instagram at caribbean pod i really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today irene hi irene an hour and 20 minutes later and i give you uncle chris's cheat hack simple tasty good looking whole jerk chicken in the oven now it will depend on the size of the bird that you use the cooking time may vary a bit this was a three and a half pound chicken and it is ready to go what I'm gonna do now is put some foil over it allow it to sit for about 10 minutes let it sort of rehydrate itself in its own juices everything going back all over and you know just making anything look good and taste good Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. My oven jerk chicken, I hope you guys give this one a try. Like the student version, this one is just a hack. We use the stuff out of the grocery store. We kind of added some flavor up in there, but for the most part, it's bare nice. Let's just look at that now. And you see them sort of bits that you see on the top there? That is just the caramelization of the sugars and herbs and seasonings and all kind of thing up in there. Irie, Irie.